some scholars say music are haram and some say music is allowed assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh some scholars say music is halal and some of them say it's permissible some of them say it's a music is haram but let, let me try to give you a logical answer about that uh, as as there's a one human being in one human being one of them is a body physical body and uh, the second one is called the spiritual body which is our soul like we eat the food it goes into our stomach that is a requirement of our body because if we do not eat that after two days we will start getting sick similarly we have a soul inside uh, if, if, if our body needs the food to fulfill our desire, our requirement, to make sure we are healthy, we're doing some exercises and we're doing everything. Similarly, our soul required our food and that is number one, Quran. Number two, a lot of azkar and also number three, which is like called a taqwa. Taqwa is something uh, where is in Surah Baqarah where, is, uh, where Allah says A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Sallam Rahman Alif Lameem Zalik Al-Kitab Allah Raiba Fiha Huddal Lil Muttaqeen This is the book for those who are, who are the uh, Muttaqeen people who has a fear of Allah and they are being very uh, God conscious and they want to save themselves from every evil goes into that Now there is a three holes how the shaitan goes in our heart actually not three holes there's a four holes in our body where the shaitan goes at number one through our eyes through our ears and through our tongue and also the one which is like most dangerous than the three that is our nubs because when, when the, the because the prophet said when a person is born the shaitan stick with him until he dies and he communicate with his mind and he puts the whispers and the waswasa and imaginations and the stories and a lot of uh, uh, stories developing in his mind and he start and that person physical body start imagining those things and he's trying to start acting on that and he start obeying his nafs whatever his nafs says that so now that's a shaitan now the question was being asked, is the music haram? Music, no, no, let's understand something. Why do we listen to music? It, it's a very common answer. Because you feel better, it, feel, make, it, it makes you uh, relax, it makes your mind relax. No, no, understand something. Music, it, there's a many scholars who say that the music is like astakhullah it's a it's a recitation of a of a shaitan music is a recitation of a shaitan and the quran is a recitation of a muslim so when somebody listen to that music and he's being pleasing with that he's feeling comfortable he's being relaxed so basically shaitan is trying to to sing him the the, the lullaby that's like uh, making him sleep and making him feel good so that's a recitation of a shaitan because what happens that if you listen to a music one time he's gonna make you listen to again and again and again and what happens that his his main point is he wants to remove you from Quran so either it's a music in the movies or the games or whatever the music is coming up so you need to shut down that because the shaitan is trying to attract you into something and he wants to remove you from the Quran because his main target is to remove you from the Quran so this is the answer to those scholars who say that the, the music is is permissible music is mostly used in the in the sect of Islam which is like the Sufism those are the scholars who accept it as in the music is accepted and this is basically making you feel better but rather it is the recitation of a shaitan who's trying to comfort the human being because he is trying to corrupt your soul and Allah said if you uh, stick to the Quran and do the recitation of a Quran do the adhkar that will make your soul pure and it will purify your soul but the music it corrupt your soul by the recitation of a shaitan but if we if that's why Allah says Huddalil Muttaqin this book is the guidance of those who are Muttaqi people who has a fear of Allah and who has a who are the uh, God conscious people because they are the one now how does the shaitan goes uh, through our eyes shaitan attacks 
eyes and that crop your soul is through the eyes. That's why Allah says in Surah Nuz, whenever you see your opposite sex, you need to lower your gaze. How does the ear? We listen to the music, we listen to the back wiring, we listen to so many things. It's called the zina of eyes, it's called the zina of ears and also called the zina of, zina of tongue. Now how is the zina of tongue? We say a useless thing. Like uh, there's a surah where it says, uh, This surah, the, the few verses of uh, in the beginning of the surah which talks about what is the moment person. He is the one who uh, uh, control himself, he's control his desires, rather he's a moment person, he controls himself. So the, what are the things we have to control to make sure our soul is pure? We have to control our eyes, our ears, and the tongue. And one of them is our ears, and that's what uh, it says that the music is haram because it's, it's corrupting your soul. The shaitan is trying to remove you from the Quran, and he's trying to put you into the music. Because what happens? It's naturally. When you listen to one time, shaitan is going to make you listen to again and again, again and again, again. Okay, let me, and then he will make you listen. He will say, okay, this is the last time. This is the last time. This is the last time. And you don't going to listen to anymore. Okay, this is the last time. You feel sad. He will. He will just whisper in your heart. Okay, let's let's listen to the music. It's gonna make you feel better. So rather you stay away from that. Listen to the recitation, which makes your soul purify.